welcome back. So I'm here with Serene. She's got a YouTube channel. Um, so <laughs> head on over there, subscribe. I'll put a link in the description. Um, she makes a lot of makeup videos, a lot of lifestyle. More lifestyle these days. Yeah. But I love all your makeup videos. No, I, like I know. long ass videos. Those oh are my, my favorite. Everything's long ass on my yeah. channel. <laughs> I love long videos. Anyway, so on her channel, we filmed a, um, favorites of 2018. Beauty. Beauty. And then on my channel, we're doing a favorites of, uh, lifestyle favorites, I guess. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, uh, you want to get into it? Sure. You first. Should I do the things that I actually have first? Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is an empty jar of Mondo CBD yeah. and I put a little bit in in case you wanted to keep it. it. Okay. It doesn't smell like anything. Yeah. It smells like chocolate to me. Oh, now I smell it. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. so if you know me, I've dealt with a lot of depression and anxiety for most of my life. Mm -hmm. I personally refuse to be medicated. I've tried it. I don't like it. Um, which makes me a nightmare to live with. So <laughs> I'm being completely honest. And like, I didn't realize how much of a nightmare I was until I started microdosing daily with CBD. And I was very against it too, because I came up in the whole dare program and CBD was like marijuana. Marijuana was like the gateway drug. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so anyways, I use CBD derived from hemp, which means I can't get high from it. Mm -hmm. And Mondo, I didn't realize how much it had changed my life until I was out of it for two months because I was still microdosing with other forms of CBD. Mm -hmm. But for, for whatever reason, this blend of CBD keeps my anxiety away. Mm -hmm. Like my, I put a scoop a day in my coffee and it really just helps balance my mind in a way where I'm more able to process what's actually happening and kind of like decide whether or not I'm going to freak out or let it get to me the way it normally would. Mm -hmm. Um, not saying this is a cure all. I still have really bad mood swings. I still will have bad bouts, but I did notice it was when I was out. Mm -hmm. Um, and I still have bad days, but I also take other things to help me get past that. What I like about it is that I don't feel numb and I don't feel altered in any way. I still feel everything. It's just like, I'm, it's more manageable. Mm -hmm. um, so this is so easy, and I think a lot of people don't like the taste of pure CBD, like under your tongue. That works the fastest because it goes straight in your bloodstream. But I loved it so much that we started a shop, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, mainly to help educate people about it because I was so against it, and I think there's a lot of misconceptions. It's now becoming more mainstream as the farm bill is about to be passed there's like a lot of confusion and I just want people who are suffering or in pain to have another option. Not saying it's the perfect option for you, but I mm -hmm. do think it's a safer option to try. So that's why we started the shop because I'm really good at doing like 30 minute videos. So <laughs> essentially <laughs> yeah. that's what we do is like we, we, we really do try to answer every email, every DM, like, and help find the right answers for you if you wanted to try it through our shop or not. Mm -hmm. um, the stuff we carry is completely hemp-derived CBD, which is why on the website we don't just say CBD. We say hemp-derived or activated hemp because there is um, THC-derived, mm -hmm. which is, like, from the actual marijuana um, plant, and that can get you a little buzz can mm -hmm. get you a little high depending how sensitive you are and de also with like hemp CBD it's like certain ones can trigger a drug test certain ones can't so we really want to make sure you get the right things and not just buying something to test out that could potentially cause you harm or not work because I know how frustrating that is when you like try all these different things when you're suffering and mm -hmm. it doesn't work yeah but um yeah you can have this it's just a little scoop I don't mind if I do <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah just at the beginning of this year, I started taking ceramics, and it's been super fun, and now I'm, like, obsessed with it, and I've been making a lot of stuff. This is a donut that I made. It's, like, a match striker, so you, you need to strike it like that. I love that. And leave it on the toilet, really. So, um, yeah, it's, like, a nice, heavy donut. I'll make you one. Yeah, but, yeah, I've been making a lot of stuff, and I just really like working with my hands. Uh, I go once a week for three hours. I think it's totally worth it. Um, next year, I'm going to try and do more. So I actually signed up for classes in different locations just to learn 
Different techniques? Well, uh, just from different people in general, okay. you know? Because everyone's got their own way of doing things. So, yeah. And I need to find something like that. Do that! Really? Yeah. Okay. You should. It's so fun. I'll oh, try it's it. it's so freaking fun. Yeah. I think it's important because, like, my hobby was YouTube. Yeah. And now it's not a hobby. It's yeah. a job. So I- I've been kind of lost. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, what am it. I going to do? Yeah. For fun. Yeah. But this is still fun, I think. No. I mean, like, YouTube well, is still Yeah, fun, it's... Don't get me wrong. I love it. Yeah. But it's like, well, you need a creative outlet. Yeah. That's not... That's not uh, something that you're pressured to yeah. put on schedule, I guess. I yeah. Guess. I get it. I get it. I have a book. It's uh-huh. called Educated, a memoir by Tara Westover. Mm-hmm. I don't typically like memoirs. Mm-hmm. I could not put this book down. Mm. Like, I could not put it, put it down, and I could not stop talking about it. It's about this woman who grew up with survivalist parents and lived in the mountains as a Mormon, and so she never saw a doctor. She didn't even have a birth certificate mm-hmm. or anything like that. And she goes on... To, she didn't ever go to school either, but she tests in and gets into college mm-hmm. because of a, her brother, her older brother, um, who was like, I think you should try college. Mm-hmm. And then goes on to like study at Cambridge and Harvard. Yeah. And it's so beautifully written. Because, you know, sometimes like I feel like academics can write just to write. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. The perfect timing. Yeah. <laughs> Where you're like, okay move on but it's like it's perfectly written Mm -hmm. like it's so beautifully written so captivating so interesting and I love how she talks about all of these things that she encountered which someone could easily blame their parents or blame their situation but she doesn't blame anybody she kind of just is like this is how it was Mm -hmm. and all this happened so that I'm here now yeah and it's so good so if you haven't read it I really recommend reading it over the holidays. I've been crazy about incense this year. So I have like a, well, I mean, I actually keep it like this in my apartment. <laughs> no joke. And then I'll just go through and burn one or the other. Ooh, something smells really good. It's probably this that smells really good right now. The rope incense? Yeah, what? Because they're super fragrant. Um, so they come out like, I mean, it usually comes out easier, but it's just a rope that they roll up. You know, like that. And so you, burn, how do you it. burn it. Oh, so you leave it on a dish. Okay. And then, like, flat like this. And you burn it like that. Um, and then there's also. I go to this place called um, House of Intuition. And it's in Highland Park. It's on York. So it's just right down the street. And it's. Uh, these are super cheap. I think it's 20 for. I want to say, like, 2 or $3. Yeah, and it smells really good. You can pick your scents. And yeah, just have I a ton. I love the way this smells. It smells yeah. like to keep it. It's yours. Thank you. Try it out and see if you like it. This is a bit smokier. I love um, this one. Yeah, sometimes like I don't want to like when you enter a room and you just like it's a cloud of smoke. You don't really like that. So, or I don't really like that. So this one is smokeless, smokeless organic incense, and it's called, it's from Badha. Is that Badha? Hmm. Um. Yeah, but this is kind of expensive. I think it's like thirty. Yeah. Well, look at that bucks. packaging. Yeah. I feel like that's what you're paying for. But Dude. look, it's those smokeless. are pretty. It doesn't have a stick. So sometimes I stick it directly into a plant that's like moist at the bottom. So uh, and then it'll just burn. And Can I smell that one? Yeah, this one smells really good too. Oh wow! Yeah. It's like very floral. I feel like. Oh, I love it. So this is my pain salve. <laughs> it's 500 milligrams CBD. I know CBD is like really prominent in my life, but I've tried a lot. Ooh. I've tried a lot of pain salves, and I even tried like a couple really famous ones that are going to be available at Sephora mm-hmm. and other places. I've injured this part of my neck three or four times this year. I guess it's because I'm 30 something years old. I don't know what it is, but the first time I injured it, I couldn't move for a week. Mm. And uh, I used a CBD patch and that Mm. really helps the healing process. That was actually what put me onto CBD because I was like, oh wow, this like really works. Um, But the patches are $14 a piece, sometimes 16, depending on the tax. That's a really expensive like patch habit. Mm 
So habit. patch habits. Yeah. Um, so I tried out a bunch of different balms. This one is my favorite, and we actually um, like labeled it with our shop name. So we get it made for us now. It's so good. Um, I injured myself again this last week, and I tried this more expensive, fancier version, mm -hmm. and Chris massaged it in and did everything, and I was like, I'm still in pain. Mm -hmm. Like, why am I still in pain? So then a few hours later, I put this on immediately. I had mobility, mm -hmm. and I put it on again before bed. I woke up, and I was fine. It's still a little sore, mm -hmm. but I'm able to sit on the floor. Like, I was able to work out yesterday. Um, also, my friend had a really gnarly bee scene that was swallowed for, swallowed, swollen for over a week. Mm -hmm. She came over, and we rubbed this on her, and within an hour, she took a photo and sent it to us. It was flat. Whoa. Yeah, it, it is minty, so don't put that on your face or any open cuts. I have a non-minty mm. version that we're working on for, um, so I sliced my hand open mm. on Monday. Mm -hmm. I put that thing, it's already like sealed. Nice. So the reason CBD works for pain is because we actually have a lot of cannabinoid receptors on our skin, so you can target treat pain with CBD yeah. topically. Um, also, this has turmeric in it and a couple other anti-inflammatory, because CBD is anti-inflammatory, but this has a lot of other, I forget what it, what it is, uh, uh, ginger, yeah, anyways, it's Leaping Bunny certified cruelty free. I got this at the beginning of the year, like in January last year, or this year, yeah, um, I got this at the beginning of the year. This is a Carl Albach foot. I got this at County Limited, and it's... I don't know. I just thought it was like so cute and everything. It's adorable. And, yeah, and it just brings me joy, and I touch it every day. And I actually use it. I put it in my bathroom, and I use it as a facial massage tool. So yeah, <laughs> it's the perfect shape. Yeah, I know. Because it has the arch in the foot. Yeah, and if I have like puffy eyes or if I'm hungover, like it really wakes me up, and it just feels so good, and it does retain the cold. So um, oftentimes, whenever I'm using like rose quartz or like a gouache tool or like just they get warm real fast they get warm really fast it, if I'm doing one side of my face it just doesn't stay cold so I can really just it feels really good and it feels really good on your eyes too my next favorite thing is at home because I forgot it but it's the hydro flask mm -hmm. so uh, because of my diet and just because of life like I don't drink enough water mm -hmm. typically and I drink a lot of coffee so all my water bottles, I realized I was so lazy at filling it up. So I bought a 32 ounce hydro flask mm -hmm. so that I knew I only had to fill it up three times a day. Mm -hmm. What color? It's white. Nice. Okay. And it has a straw. That's nice. really important to me. I like straws. Yeah. And um, I switched all my straws in the house to steel straws. And then my water bottles, like, don't you know, they don't like go in there and stuff. So this comes with its own straw and I just bring it with me everywhere except today. But I fill it up at the gym, mm -hmm. I fill it up in the morning, it's always on my desk and it makes it so much easier for me to get the water I need. Yeah. And I only have to fill it up twice a day. Nice. So, um, cause I wake up with it full and then I drink it yeah. and then I do it two more times. Yeah. But it, it's so good. I don't know why it makes such a difference to have like a water bottle. Yeah. That's like it the does. Size. Yeah. Like I have a Nalgene. I had a Hydro Flask, but I left it at someone's house. And um, yeah, I really miss it. I need to get another one. The only thing though that I will say about the Hydro Flask is that I drink my water um, room temp, and most places offer cold water only. It's why I like my gym. It's not cold. Oh, so they give you, like, ambient water? Mm hmm Yeah. I, nice. I go to a fancy gym. Yeah, it's <laughs> worth it. Yeah, because even, like, at my house sometimes, like, because it gets so cold in the morning, even uh, my wa my Usoma water filter will oh. be cold. Yeah, so um, with the Nalgene, it's just, like, a plastic. I mean, it's plastic, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, it stays room temp, or it gets to room temp, like, pretty quickly. The only thing with that is that I think it retains odor, which is not, not That's good. the thing. is like I really don't like that smell. Mm -hmm. I'm very sensitive to scent. Mm -hmm. The Hydro Flask, I haven't had that metal scent, mm -hmm. and I also haven't had that weird, like, water bottle smell. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I wash it 
pretty, you wash it yeah pretty frequently especially because i have that straw so i use a pipe cleaner so i got so i've always had away suitcases i've had like every color that you can think of i have the sand color i have the pink color i have really? the blue one yeah but i keep like lending it out to people because all my friends like to travel and i love my away suitcases so much anyway i went on a trip with maddie over the summer oh no actually early fall and I got this one, which is the aluminum one. It's you just so touch it. I love it. It's such a crazy. I was at first. I was like, I mean, how much different can it be? Because like the the, I think they call it the Evergreen line, the original line for um, Oasis cases. That's the one I have. Yeah, it's the one I had, or I had before too. I'm like, those are amazing. Like, how much better can you make an away suitcase? But this what? is. Phenomenal. Why is it so much better? <laughs> it's not like a crazy amount better, but it's just like there's little perks to it. Okay, I have to um, see these perks. So there's um, there's two of these now, so you can secure it, so you can have two different codes. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you need two codes? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you, you might need it. So for the carry, carry-ons, um, either size. I always get the smaller carry-on because I don't really carry that much stuff, but they both have... Um, I need you to do more packing videos. Pack. Packing videos? Yeah. Well, I just don't change my clothes that often, so I feel like most people pack a lot of clothes. I go through all my clothes. I know, every time but I, travel. I need you to do it still. So. Yeah, I will. I will. And then I want to see what you wear on your trip. <laughs> oh, I always put like um, this because sometimes even like... It, even if you have a carry-on, sometimes they're like, oh, we don't have space yeah. for it or whatever. And then so many people have away suitcases cases now. So if you end up, like, having to pick up your... Um, someone will grab it. Yeah, someone will grab it by accident if it's, like, a, a generic car. Chris almost did it. Like, he was at the thing and he, like, started grabbing someone's luggage. Yeah. And he was like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. Dude, I had a pink one. Or I have a pink one. And someone grabbed it. because, And it was a dude. And then I'm like, what? And then he's like, oh, wait, this isn't mine because I have this. And I'm like, dude, you're sketchy. And But he pulled out his. And, and it was pink? It was pink, too. Okay, okay. He's like, I got this because, like, it's... Different. It's different, you know? Yeah. Anyway, um, so there's that. Um, the inside, I think they actually updated the inside on all of them, not just the aluminum body. I got mine this year, so maybe we have the same inside now? No, that's different. Yeah, mine's already fully packed, but... <laughs> I love yeah. that you're ready to go. Yeah, well, they updated the inside a little bit so that there's um, more storage. I'm all about away suitcases. They're amazing. Oh, and they came out with new backpacks and bags. Chris has the bag. Right? Yeah, we both have the bags. We both have the bigger carry-on and then the everyday bag. Is mm -hmm. it everyday bag or everywhere bag? It might be... I have no idea. Whatever. It's the bag that sits, like, perfectly yeah. on top of the carry-ons. Yeah. They're so good and I am not a good traveler and yeah. these bags are so good. Maddie I, has that too. I should know it. The, every, little the bath? Yeah. yeah. Well thought out. They're yeah. uh, guaranteed working condition for life. Yeah. It's so crazy because the first one that I ever bought the first away seat case the battery didn't eject and then they sent me an email saying hey send it into a store or bring it to a store and we'll replace it and they did. Yeah. It was like same day super quick super easy. They, their customer service is unbelievable. Phenomenal. Yeah. So my final thing is discovering keto for me. I'm not currently on it because I'm being a little lax, but basically I don't eat any refined sugars mm -hmm. and I limit any sugars and carbohydrate intake that's not that doesn't have fiber to 21 grams a day. Mm -hmm. So when I am on it, which I will be back on after the holidays, um, I really just don't eat any sugar or breads or pastas or grains. Mm -hmm. um, all of my carbs come from vegetables and almond flour. I think there's a lot of misconception with keto. A lot of people are like, it's bad for you, it's blah, 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 all this stuff. So I had my blood work and ultrasound done before I started keto. Then I started keto. Three months later, I went and got, no, almost six months later, I went and got my blood work and my ultrasound again. My doctor literally said, what have you been doing? And mm -hmm. and I was like, I started keto and I take a lot of CBD. And he's like, he was like, oh yes, keto is so good for you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why didn't you tell me this all those years when you were telling me to stop, to like focus on my health? And I think the reason is because it's really complicated. So Chris and I did a ton of research before we decided to try it. Mm -hmm. 
I know it's really hard because I was looking at Trader Joe's like to buy meatballs, turkey meatballs, and they put corn syrup and sugar in it. Mm -hmm. Or I don't think it's corn syrup, but it's some sort of syrup and then sugar. I was looking to buy mayonnaise. I can't buy it because it has to be made from avocado oil and I don't like the way it tastes, like the way they blend that one. Um, there's just so many hidden sugars in our foods mm -hmm. that it's really hard when you start. And I was lucky that I had a friend who'd been on it for six years who kind of was like, hey, don't drink the almond milk. They put sugar in that. And I was like, what? Why? Why are you putting sugar in my almond milk? It's unsweetened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they do. So it's just, it's one of those things that unless you do your research, it's really hard to do. And people judge it because, you know, they're like, well, it's bad for your kidneys. No, it's not. It's bad for your kidneys if you literally don't eat anything but meat, mm -hmm. which... And people are like, well, you're killing animals. I'm like, no, you can actually be a vegetarian and be on keto because I eat 70 to 75% fat. Mm -hmm. I don't eat any more protein than any other diet. Mm -hmm. um, if I do eat animal products, I eat them whole. Like, I don't do skinless or anything. I eat the whole animal, mm -hmm. which I think is actually better because there's less waste. Um, so, and you can eat a lot of fatty fishes. Mm -hmm. So, um, and eggs. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do vegan I, and be on keto, I would say that that's a little bit harder because I don't know other than avocados, macadamia nuts, where you're going to get your fat source mm -hmm. in avocado oil. Like that could get boring real fast. Also, a lot of your protein substitutes are full of carbs like soy. Um, I think tempeh has a lot of carbs too. And there's a lot of sugar in the vegan diet. Mm -hmm. So that's where I would say you would have to do a little more of your research, but it's been life-changing for me, and the fact that my doctor was like, this is so good for you, if you can keep doing it, keep doing it, mm -hmm. that means a lot. And sugar is such a toxic thing in our diet because we don't realize how much of it we're consuming. Mm -hmm. um, when you take away fat, you have to replace it with sugar. Yeah. So it's just hidden in everything we're eating and consuming and sugar also breeds cancer cells. It causes inflammation. I think it's truly a lot of the reasons why so many people are dealing with like inflammatory diseases mm -hmm. and why there's weird growths happening. Um, what also I stopped getting headaches every day, three and four mm -hmm. headache. And Chris was like, Oh, it's must be four o'clock because I'd be like, I have a headache or I'm getting a headache. Being on keto eliminated all of my headaches. I didn't even realize it until I went crazy off keto for a week. Yeah. And I was like, headaches came back. God, I woke up feeling like I drank mm -hmm. so much alcohol. Like I woke up with a hangover. Yeah. And the whole day I had this pounding headache. And I was like, how did I live life? Yeah. Like I didn't realize how much I was suffering until I stopped suffering and started suffering again. Yeah. So I encourage you guys, even if you're not on keto, you don't need to be on keto. Just to, like, look at the amount of sugar you're eating. Yeah. Um, because... I'm, like, trying to think about all the sugar that it's I've just, just had today. And everything. I mean, like, I love kombucha. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to brew my own because there's sugar in all the kombucha that no. I drink. Yeah. Um, you see, a lot of these healthy things yeah. still have sugar in it. Yeah. And a lot of CBD brands will, like, be like, try our gummies. I'm like, it's full of sugar. So, yeah. yes, I believe in CBD, but I don't believe in adding more sugar to our diet. Yeah. So, um, that's like just the one thing that's really changed my life the last eight months is because yeah. even though I'm not on keto right now, I'm not consuming the amount of sugar I was consuming. Like I had a brownie because I made them, yeah. but I'm like, okay, I'm going to stop because I'm going to get a headache if I eat any more. Uh, my, What's your last thing? My last thing. Oh, so my last thing, I, I can't really show you a physical thing, but it's, um, just at the beginning of this year, I updated all my audio equipment, so all my like, turntables and my PA system, my mixer and everything for DJing, and that's made a huge difference. I've gotten way more into DJing. I've been playing a lot more, um, I guess, gigs. I don't know. I've been playing at a lot more bars and events and stuff, which is I nice. I see you gigging all the time. Yeah, it's really fun, and it's it's gotten me really into music again, which is nice. I do a lot of research. And it actually goes somewhere, which is cool. And I've been organizing my records, like, alphabetically. And I've been trying really hard because I've had a problem for, like, years where I'll buy duplicates of records because I'll forget that I've 
I bought it before. That's like me with a lot of things. Yeah, it sucks. Like, I'll go out and then see something. I'm like, oh, yeah, I wanted this, and I'll buy it. And then when I get home and put it in alphabetical order, I'm like, why is this here? How do you, so how do you keep track of it now? There's this thing called Discogs, which is online. Um, there's an app for it, too, and you can have, like, a wish list, and then they'll tell you how much it is or if someone's putting it on sale or whatever. Um, but you can also keep track of your inventory, too, and they alphabetize everything, too. So if you put your records at home in that order, it's really nice. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I've been using that a ton whenever I do go out and buy records because if I forget that I have something at home, I'll just double-check just to make sure that I already have it. Um, yeah, so it's it's been awesome. But that's everything that I have. Yeah, and me else? too. Yeah? Okay, well, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, go subscribe to Streen's channel. Um, check out the beauty favorites that we did. And um, you have anything to add? Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.